Yo, what is up guys? Brandon here from Red Black Productions, and today I'm going to teach you how to blur out faces on our video. So here's a clip that I prepared, let's go and play it back. So essentially what I want to do is blur out my face while keeping everything intact and non-blurred. So to do that, let's go ahead and select our clip, and now we're going to go and copy it. So press Command C, and Command V to paste. Now we have two identical copies, all we're going to do is select the first one, and go to our generator over here. Now under generators, we're gonna go to elements and select shapes. Now over to shape, we're gonna go and drag it on top of our first clip. And now we can go and adjust it to make sure it's only on our first clip. So now we're gonna go and select our shape and make sure our cursor is set to the start of the clip. So this shape over here, this is gonna be our blur. So what we're going to do is to make it blurry, first we're going to go to our inspector window, make sure we're under generator, and now we have a fill with highlighted. What we're going to do is we're going to uncheck it. So we're going to uncheck it by clicking, and now we should see we only have a red circle. So with this red circle, everything inside of it is going to be blurry. So to do that, let's go ahead and adjust it to however big we want by going on the transform button over here. Now let's go and transform it to whatever size we want. Keep in mind that everything inside is going to be blurry, so make sure we have the right size. Alright, I think that's good enough. Now that we're happy with our shape, what we're going to do is do some basic tracking by basically doing some basic keyframing. So we're going to go over here and click on this keyframe icon. Now that we keyframed it, we're going to do some tracking. So tracking is pretty much keyframing every individual frame. So to do that, we can either click right to go up one frame, or we can hold shift right to go one second. I'm going to go shift right only because it's so much faster. So yeah, we're going to do some tr simple tracking. So press right or shift right. Now that we're up the frame, we're going to go and move it to make sure it's back to our original position. So we're going to go ahead and keep doing that by tracking our face. All right, now that we finish our tracking, we can go and play it back to make sure that the red circle is completely tracked. Okay, now that we're happy with our tracking, we're gonna go and move our cursor back to the start of the clip and go back to our inspector window and uncheck the fill. So now that our fill is back to checked, what we're gonna do is go to video and scroll down to the composition. Now under blending mode, we're going to go and select it and make sure we change it to stencil luma. Now what we can see is it inversed the clip, so we only have everything black and only our face is showing. So let's go to our effects over here, go to blur and select Gaussian blur. Now we go and drag it onto our video. Now that we dragged it onto our video, we will notice that it's all blurred out. So once this is blurred out, what we can do is, while we're selected on shapes, hold command and select on our first clip, or simply just highlight them both, right click and select new compound clip, and press OK. Alright, now that it became a new compound clip, what we're going to do is get our second video, second clip that we copied, and drag it underneath our compound clip. And there we go! Let me go and play it. Alright, there we go! We just successfully blurred out our face on Final Cut Pro 10. But if you're unsatisfied with the amount of blur, what you can do is select Gaussian Blur and drag it again onto the compound clip, making it even blurrier. So yeah, that's pretty much how to blur your face in Final Cut Pro 10. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't for more videos. And I'll see you guys soon. Laters.